Hello again, I'm Mark Allen and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today is part two of the series focusing on downtown Palm Springs. And uh, before uh, my previous video, I was in Uptown, uh, the design district. So this time I'm in the heart of downtown at our new shopping development, uh, right along Palm Canyon, uh, which is just on the other side of this building. So I wanna show you around here at some of the options that you have if you're exploring and maybe find some things that you wouldn't have thought about. Downtown, we have a, a ton of options for uh, dining and shopping, and there's really far too many for me to focus on in this video. Uh, maybe later on, I will come back and uh, do videos on some of my favorite eateries here in town. But for now, it's just to give you a general overview of what downtown Palm Springs has to offer and what it looks like. So if you're ready, I'm ready. So let's go. So as far as dining goes, downtown Palm Springs has some really good options from independent uh, mom pa restaurants as well as some of your uh, more mainstream eateries. But really, whatever your mood is, dietary restraint, uh, whatever you're craving, you're gonna be able to find it in uh, downtown Palm Springs for sure. And on the opposite side of the street is our uh, classic shopping corridor. Uh, some of the buildings that have been here since the glory days of Palm Springs, uh, built back in the, say, 50s and 60s. If you're into mid-century modern architecture, there's some hidden gems uh, tucked along the route as well, so you may wanna keep your eyes open for those. So aside from all the shopping and irresistible dining that can be done uh, in downtown Palm Springs, there's a lot of really unique experiences, events, and opportunities that you can do. I highly recommend you doing a little research before you visit. You never know what fun event is gonna be going on in town and you probably don't wanna miss it. Also, I didn't wanna forget to mention that if you're here on a Thursday in the evening, be sure to stop by the Palm Springs Village Fest it's really a vibrant and lively weekly street fair. So Village Fest brings together tasty uh, food vendors, live entertainment, unique shopping booths, artists of all sorts, and handmade crafts. So it's definitely worth checking out if you're here on a Thursday night. Uh, during the summer, I admit, it can get a little toasty, um, or sometimes very toasty, but uh, really, it's definitely worth checking out and, and supporting some of the, uh, the artists and food vendors that you'll find here. So being mid-February, uh, right now should be fairly crowded. As I mentioned in my last video, this time of year is our high tourist season, and we have uh, Modernism Week going on uh, right now for uh, the next 14 days. But due to COVID, that's of course not happening. But if you're here uh, mid-February, definitely check out uh, Modernism Week. And I'm gonna put a link in the description of this video. It's something you should really check out if you're here in town uh, that time of year. Also, depending on when you're here, we have some pretty amazing parades uh, going on uh, on our, our main street down on, on Palm Canyon Drive. If you're here at Christmas time, there's a really charming Christmas parade that you really have to check out. I think that's generally the first weekend in December. So all in all, I mean, there's never a dull moment in Palm Springs. You really are going to find lots to, to do, uh, lots to see, great food to eat, uh, great bars, uh, great shopping. So Palm Springs is also very bike friendly. Most of the streets have uh, bike lanes dedicated for bicyclists. So that's always something uh, you want to check out if you want to get a little exercise as well. Before you start uh, exploring Palm Springs, you may want to come down and visit uh, Wellwood Murray Memorial Library. Uh, it has a small uh, guest uh, information center inside uh, and you can pick up uh, brochures on things to do in the local area. I know they have information on some great walking tours and city tours in general that you can book. Uh, but of course, right now all that stuff is not going on because of COVID. But hopefully by the time you're here, that will be back open and you'll be able to explore and uh, dive in a little deeper into Palm Springs. But one of my favorite places in Palm Springs has always been La Plaza. And even before we moved here, this was one spot in downtown Palm Springs that always really caught my attention. I didn't know anything about it. It uh, was completed in 1936 and designed by famed architect uh, Harry Williams. 
uh, it was really one of the first of its kind uh, outdoor shopping centers in the U.S. And today La Plaza offers a diverse blend of shopping, dining, uh, recreational activities. And it's in between Palm Canyon Drive and Indian Canyon Drive, uh, just above Arenas Road. It's got beautiful landscape courtyards, themed lighting and details reminiscent of Palm Springs in its early years. Across the street from me here is the, uh, the new Agua Caliente Cultural Museum and it's um, on Indian Canyon in Tockets in downtown Palm Springs. So Indian Canyon is one street uh, east parallel of Palm Canyon and uh, the Agua Caliente Cultural Museum and Spa has been built to celebrate the tribe's ancient Agua Caliente hot mineral spring here right underneath the property and it's going to have gardens, a gathering plaza, uh, and a spa. So that was supposed to open in 2020, but, uh, you know, as everything, uh, everything got paused and postponed. So but we'll see if it opens up in 2021. But if you are here at a later date, definitely check it out, because from what I've seen, it looks like it's going to be really beautiful. So Palm Springs also has its own Walk of the Stars. As you probably know, it was once uh, the playground of the rich and famous movie stars came out here in the 50s, 60s. This is a place for them to get away from their uh, busy Hollywood lives. The Palm Springs Walk of Stars honors over 400 accomplished and cherished celebrities. So look down while you're walking, you never know whose star you're going to see. As part of the redevelopment project uh, downtown, one of the things that they've done is installed quite a bit of public art, which to me is, is always really cool. Palm Springs is a very creative town filled with lots of artists, and I know that they commissioned some locals and some international artists for these pieces, um, and it seems like they're adding new ones uh, at least every four to six months. And speaking of art, the Palm Springs Art Museum is right behind us. And I definitely want to get a little closer and tell you about uh, what's inside. The Palm Springs Art Museum has a really amazing collection of art. Uh, our little town really knows how to, to do it right. Uh, inside you're going to find an ever-growing collection of uh, permanent pieces. I believe they have um, over 12,000 uh, permanent pieces, if I remember right. But um, they have everything from uh, modern, contemporary, architecture, design, um, really the whole gamut. Um, for, for a small town, Palm Springs really does have a uh, world-class art museum. So of course, uh, like everything else, the museum is closed right now due to COVID. But if you're here and you love art, definitely check it out. On Thursdays, they have uh, free admission from 4 to 8. And I think if I remember right, they also have free admission um, second Sundays of every month. And across the street from me here is uh, where our new community park is coming in. Uh, it's going to be pretty cool. There's going to be a waterfall coming off the parking garage from what I understand. There's going to be like a rock, a rock face and a waterfall coming over that. Uh, wandering paths, gardens and places for people to just sort of reflect. So I know it doesn't look like much of anything now, but from what I've seen from the artist rendering, it's going to be pretty cool. I'll see if I can find that online and uh, post it uh, here in the video for you to take a look at. And also, if I'm not mistaken, Forever Maryland uh, is going to be back here too. So Forever Maryland is a giant statue designed by Seward Johnson. It's a representation um, of that iconic image of Marilyn Monroe in um, the Seven Year Itch where she's on the uh, subway grate and the gust of wind catches her skirt. Um, so some of you may be familiar with that. It was here when we moved in in 2012 and then she left town in 2014, I believe. But uh, the city has bought her and she's coming back here permanently next month. So. If, um, if I can catch the timing on that, I definitely want to come down and shoot a video uh, of her being installed. 
So one of my favorite places to get a cocktail in Palm Springs is High Bar uh, here at Hotel Rowan. Uh, we're up on the seventh floor above uh, the city, and it's really a perfect place to come and uh, watch the sunset go down, do some people watching, and if you are staying here, it's a, probably one of the best swims uh, here in town. I mean, come on, you can't beat that view. It's pretty amazing. So cheers, and I uh, hope you enjoyed my video of downtown Springs. I've got my uh, favorite cocktail, a pineapple margarita. So if you did enjoy the video, please like and subscribe as usual. And I hope you can make it to our wonderful city of Palm Springs very soon. Cheers.